So hey, what's up guys? With the new release of Logic Pro X, I noticed that, you know, they switched up and changed a few things. Nothing's too major, but I'm just basically doing this tutorial to show you how to rewire Reason 7 inside of Logic Pro X. So, you know, just pay attention. And as usual, I uploaded a free tutorial template so you could download it immediately and get straight to work if you don't want to go through all of this. It's already pre-saved with already pre-loaded sounds and um, instruments. But let's get straight to work and let's see how this is done. So first things first, let's open up Logic Pro X. Uh, once it's open, launch it from here. The number one thing we need to understand is Logic Pro is no longer supporting 32-bit mode. And that's huge for people who use rewire and plugins because if you have anything in 32-bit, it will not run or will not be seen inside of Logic Pro X. Uh, me personally, I'm sticking with Logic Pro 9 uh, due to the fact that a lot of my Universal Audio stuff um, is not 64-bit. I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's an installation problem on my end, but, you know, and plus there's a bunch of plugins that I like to use, the Korg Legacy. Uh, you know, I could go on for days, but they're all 32-bit, and I have no problem. It's not broke, so I'm not going to fix it. But for the people who are new adapters and did upgrade, uh, you have to make sure that everything you run is in 64-bit mode or you won't be able to see it. So first things first, we're going to go inside of Logic, go to Preferences, and go under General. Once we open up General, go into Audio. You know, you could go straight to Audio, but I like to go do it this way. Once you're inside of Audio, we need to go down here to the Rewire Behavior. By default, this is going to be off. So that's going to be a number one issue besides if your pl programs or plugins are not in 64-bit. So you need to make sure this is on. Uh, and this is something you really have to decide based on your computer. Um, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just leaving it in playback mode, less CPU. But if you're running multiple, you know, rewires like Ableton, Reason, you know, a bunch of instruments, a lot of stuff going on, I highly suggest you use live mode. It reduces the CPU load and the latency you get between the programs when processing. But, you know, this is all on your computer, so if it can't handle it, let's just stick with it could use. Once that's done, let's go to Reason. So on my Macintosh HD, I have my Reason folder here. So we're going to right-click on that to get information. Once we have Get Info, by default, my Reason opens up in 32-bit mode. Like I said, I'm still using Logic Pro 9. I have no problems, no issues with it, and all my Universal stuff runs smooth with it. So if you are in Logic Pro X, you know, whatever you upgraded or whatever the case may be, you need to make sure 32-bit mode is deselected. Once that's deselected, we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up Reason. Once Reason is open, first things first, we need to make sure that it's in rewire slave mode. Once it's in rewire slave mode, we know that we launched everything properly. Logic was first, Reason was second. Now we can have Logic controlling Reason. So let's go, we're going to open up an instance of Thor. Once Thor is open, we're going to press tab on our keyboard to get to the back of the rack. Then we're going to click the little arrow here to get to the drop down menu. And we're just going to take these direct outs and route them over here after we click the audio ins and out and we get their drop down menu. And we're going to put them in three and four. We're going to deselect one and two because that's the master selection for all instruments. Right now we're going to be doing everything inside of Logic so we don't really need to be doing our mixing and monitoring inside of, excuse me, Reason. So we're going to press tab again to get back again in the front. And we're going to go back inside of Logic. Once inside of Logic, we're going to open up MIDI track. External MIDI, create. And another thing I've noticed with the new improvements in Logic Pro X is that they shifted everything to the left hand side. So by default, your library is going to be deselected. So you're going to click your library. I'm sorry, it's the toolbar. Library is loading, loading. Bear with me. So once the library is up, we're going to see Reason automatically pop up. Once Reason is there, we're just going to select the first Thor. Well, the one on the top. Once we have our Thor selected, 
we're going to press X on our keyboard while in Logic to bring up the mixer window. Once we have that, we're just going to create a new auxiliary channel strip. By default, the volume levels are going to be down, so if you're doing this and you notice you're not getting any sound, it's probably because this is all the way down. So we're just going to turn this up, get a little volume in here. And for the input for this auxiliary channel, we want this to be reason 3 and 4 because that's where we have our Thor selected. And once you do that, you should be able to good to go. Uh, and that's basically it, guys. Um, I'm not going to keep it too long and drag this out. But like I said in the beginning of the video, I did include a template for all my um, video tutorials. It's right in the description link below. So you could just download this template. It's already pre-saved for the, um, the rewire mode uh, and everything for as far as logic and reason. So all you got to do is just open it up and you're good to go and you can start creating. I already had. So once again, you know, thanks for watching. I appreciate all the support for everyone who watches my videos, download the templates, you know, just hit me with any questions. If you have any, uh, leave the email in the description, piffquestions at gmail.com. And you know, just, uh, just subscribe. I really appreciate it. Cause I'll be uploading these videos all the time and I'll do videos on anything you guys need me to do. Um, because I'm extremely well, well versed in a lot of different pro programs and software like the, uh, if you need a video on MPC Renaissance, a video on the machine, Ableton, Logic, Pro Tools, uh, these are all softwares I use uh, on, a, on a day to day basis. Uh, Final Cut, you know, so if you have any questions on anything, just please feel free to hit me and I'll make a video and I'll show you how I do it and I'll even make a template for the workflow as well. So, you know, till next time, guys, have a good day.